All right, guys, good morning. It is February 19th, 2021, um, and we're going to go over the stocks for today to watch. Um, yesterday, if you are watching my watch list, uh, you would have killed it. I mean, AABB and TSMP, uh, they had some gorgeous, gorgeous panics. Uh, AABB was probably the best one. I mean, this thing was phenomenal. I mean, you can't get any better than this. Look at that, straight down, straight up for 40% bounce. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Um, TSMP, I was watching TSMP yesterday, and I wanted more panic um, because, you know, like I, I, I detailed in my last lesson, uh, this thing usually had a fake balance and it came down further. But yesterday, it just went, went up and didn't have a real, I'll quote, unquote, panic, more of a fade um, until late afternoon. So that was a little disappointing. But AABB, that was the that was definitely the best one. Um, so did, hopefully someone took advantage of that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm going to be watching these for the same thing today. Um, these can be my top watches for panics. Uh, they're so clean. Um, look at it just every single day. Just, it's been offering some sort of a panic. So AABB, definitely my, my top watch. Um, the price action is pretty pretty repetitive, which I like. Same thing with TSMP now. It's having the same kind of price action. So I'm going to keep these both on watch uh, as my top potential dip buys, price size in. Um, and panics are great for when the markets reverse a little bit. I mean, you know, we're in a bubble and there's going to be a lot of selling off now. Um, and the best way to capitalize on that sell off is to take profits when, you know, these short sellers and these panickers leave from, from the panic itself. So really good opportunity. Um, I missed some of these plays, to be honest with you guys, uh, because I was playing puts on Riot yesterday, um, which, you know what, was probably a bad decision because in my own trading, I said I would not play options right now during the stock market. And I broke my rules, and because I broke my rules, I missed out on some good opportunities. So let that be a lesson to you guys. Uh, once you set your own trading rules, don't break them. Um, it does happen. I mean, I've been doing this for a while. Um, I saw a big opportunity, so I thought I would try to put my energy there, and it turned out I missed better opportunities. So uh, don't shy away from your trading plans. Um, it's not a good, <laughs> It doesn't work out for you uh, at the end of the day, despite how, how good you think uh, – the opportunity might be at the end of the day. Uh, INTV, uh, I'm gonna keep them on. They had, they just got rid of their debt. Um, I don't really care about that, but they have news, so that's great. Uh, if you look at the yearly chart, it is about to break out again at 59 cents. I'm gonna say 60 cents just to be uh, rounding it up to be a little bit more concise, because that's really where it topped out at. Um, so if we can break out, I think it's a good run. Um, I'll be watching for a panic dip by per usual. Um, it doesn't really have nice ones pretty choppy so i'll be a little bit more cautious on this uh hopefully it can just break out and i'll play the breakout pattern sirc um if you look at this one this one's been coming down it's having its, its bounce day so i'm gonna look for another panic on this um i mean this could have some more juice in it um we'll see i mean yesterday it went straight up out of the open so i'll keep my eye on it we'll see kind of what it does today um I think all of this, to be honest, was just was just a short squeeze. Um, this thing was, you know, trading sideways all day yesterday, and um, I think people just got bored. I think I think buyers started coming in, and shorts got tired of holding their position, and they squeezed up. So I don't know if that's a real spike or not. Um, so we'll see what happens today. If it panics out and fades down, then it wasn't. Um, but if it if it can hold up, then I guess there is some juice left in SIRC, and it can have a nice bounce. <clears throat> SBONF. I already have the daily chart up. This was a nice breakout a couple days ago over that 32 cent level. I think it's three cents. Um, if you look at the intraday chart, um, had a nice spike up and it held its, it held its gains really well throughout the whole day. So that's a nice looking chart. It did something similar to the previous day. I mean, if you look at this stuff, guys, I mean, these, these patterns repeat, right? So this is what you want to be looking at when you're looking at some of these charts. Um, so today, um, I, I'm going to expect the same, uh, you know, a little bit more of the same. Uh, if it panics, great. Um, this will probably be a later day play for me, unless it has like a really, really nice panic. Um, just because it, it could keep running, you know, it is breaking out. But we also have to see what the market conditions are. Um, if you guys were watching the market yesterday, I mean, it was definitely a big reversal. Um, I'm not going to say the bubbles popped, but I would say the bubble is at least leaking a little bit at this point. Um, so just be careful. Um, a lot of these plays could turn against you now, um, especially if the bubble really is burst at this point and a lot of people are now longer trying to buy these crazy positions and hold for long periods of time um you can see a really really significant sell-off so just be careful uh and finally gt 
L, uh, oh, sorry, GTLL. Um, I didn't play this at all yesterday. Um, I, think, I think I had news. No, I didn't have news. Um, but it panicked and it stayed out of the day. Then I had like this big volume into the close. So that's what caught my attention. I had a really nice panic the day prior. Um, this would have been a really, really, really nice uh, panic to buy into. I had like a mini one yesterday. So now that it's up a lot, I would like to see something like this again, where it just dumps right up the open and I can get in for some, some, some really nice profits there. Um, because if we calculate that, I don't do some quick mass. If you had bought here and you sold right here, that would have been 20% gain. And if you had those diamond hands, um, you would, could have made upwards of 60%. So that's not bad for an hour of <laughs> an hour of work. So I'll keep watching this. This thing obviously has proven that it can uh, it can panic and it can have some really nice bounces. So uh, I'll keep it on watch um, and see what happens today. Uh, those are that's it for today. Um, not as big of a watch list just because the market did kind of get crushed. Um, I am watching Bitcoin plays still, uh, but with uh, Mara and Riot down yesterday, we'll see what happens today. They are up pre-market a little bit. Um, it looks like Riot's up 8% and Mara is up 5%, which is great. Um, I'm staying away from NASDAQs, uh, which I should have done yesterday. Um, but you know, yesterday definitely cemented the reason why I don't trade those because although there was some good gains we made there, um, the, the real money was, was over here the whole day. Um, and that continues to be true. And until that's not true, um, there's going to be no more of those plays for me. So good lesson. Um, there are a couple other stocks I am watching, um, but I don't really want to uh, go too heavy on them just because they are a little tougher to play. Um, TGGII, SIRC, and um, MMNFF are the, the main ones, actually and SIMG, are the main ones I would also add to your watch list. Um, looking for some continuation on those, um, see if they can run. Uh, SIMG could have a nice panic. Um, it panicked really, really nicely yesterday. So we'll see if we can do the same thing today. Um, but that's really about it, guys. Uh, make sure you stay safe. Um, and remember, uh, I do have a mentorship program. So you see me trade live every single day. Um, you get uh, a detailed written watch list every single day. Uh, the pay on your tier level. Um, you get an options watch list as well if you're in the options. Um, it's a lot involved, so make sure you check it out. Um, I got a lot of content still that I'm uploading to the to the mentorship portal. A lot of live trades where uh, you can see how I trade these patterns in real time. Um, there's also a written uh, document that goes along with it. So you know if you're a more visual person, or if you like to read more, or you like to learn, you know. By, by reading the content and then watching or just reading or just watching. Um, there's multiple avenues there. Um, if you join up, you get on my email chain and uh, you'll get email alerts every day uh, of my watch list. And I, I'm currently trying to find a way to, to, to set up an alert program uh, for that for, for members as well so that you can get trade alerts. But uh, we'll, we'll, I'm, I'm figuring out how to work that and I'm gonna get that streamlined here soon. Um, so, you know, if you're interested in that, go ahead and join. I'll post the link below in this video. Um, and I hope to see you all there. All right, guys.